What is up guys, it's your boy Hook on Amor. Uh, lighter note, I do have another video for you fellas. The age question right here. It's not that old, but <laughs> does 21 need to be banned? How sad to work so hard for so little. Sad for you! <laughs> Subscribe to the goddamn channel, man. I think if I asked my chat, I think almost everybody would say yes, because, well, for one, we all hate this. I hate this. My chat does not like watching it, you know? It's not that fun to watch. Even though we talk sh we never really, you know, thought about it seriously until uh, Lord Sonic Fox decided to make a poll on their Twitter and asked them all if we should legitimately ban this character. And, you know, I thought about it and I, I talked with the players offline at Bum's birthday, you know, Wawa, Wade. You know, I asked, I asked the top players over there. I, I asked the US players as well. For the most part, the consensus is we should get rid of her. I've even asked Bum for his perspective. He also thinks we should get rid of her. So 21, what do I think? In reality, realistically, if it was possible to somehow sway the other tournaments to not use her, I would say yes. I think that she has much more negatives than positives when it comes to competitive play, tournament play, and just in general, what people really want to see. So I got some points off the top of my head, uh, some positive and some negatives. Positives of her, of her not being banned is, you know, it's like classic FCC, ooh, let it rock, let it rock, you know, just let it rock. It's, you you know, you gotta deal with it, blah, blah. That's the only positive I can think of. It's just to keep, you know, the old school players happy or some of the players who think they should let it rock. When it comes to the negatives, I have a list. <laughs> So, let's just get in the match real quick. The real reason she needs to be banned is only the debuff. The debuff is too strong. It is literally like the reason that she's a top one character. Not only is it a reversal, like a four frame reversal, so you can mash it during strings, you know? It also baits spark. It takes away 21% of the opponent's damage while buffing her 21%. It's just ridiculous, man. Like, it's way too good. She can do it off of, you know, off of strings, off of any string, pretty much. It's stronger than even Broly's command grab. It's comparable to base Goku's, but base Goku needs, a, needs to use a vanish to even get anything off of it. It's unscaled. So if you do a, a level three, it's just, Look at the damage. It's off of just guessing wrong on the command grab. You die. It's just too much, man. Because realistically, everything else about her, the beam, the the stupid ass EX, you can compare that to shit like this, you know? Or, you know, Gogeta's full screen, Lariat, you know? That is just the meta of this game. So it's not necessarily how dumb she is. Because she is very dumb, don't get me wrong. But it's really this. And I think the fact that it makes some characters unviable, she has to be on a team. Like I said in my other video, the only team who can compete with her competitively at the highest level is Yasha's team, which is Blue Gogeta, Vegito uh, 17. That is the only team. And even then, that team loses to 21. If you're not playing on, on your team, you're trolling. You are actually trolling. She is a must must have if you're actually trying to win undoubtedly it doesn't matter i don't care what any of you fellas say all of you fellas have copium talking about nah bro you can play who you want blah 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 no bro that's it's just you're lying you're you're just lying to yourself you need this character if you really want to win in tournament play nowadays and it's truly it's just what it is man it's it's okay to admit it i think she should be banned only because of the debuff so if look at let's look at the positives of actually banning her so number one no we don't have to see this dumbass move a million times we don't have to see every single combo lead into tagging whether it be this way whether it be this way you know whether it be this way you don't have to see this move anymore it is just it's just stupid ass move number two which this was a perspective from Bum, which I'd never even thought of. DBFZ is already one of the longest games to run. 
as a tournament organizer. I think it's almost longer than Smash Ultimate, which is an eight minute match. Like grand finals can last up to 40 minutes sometimes, bro. And that is before the debuff. Now we're thinking after debuff, it just adds even more time for the tournament organizers, more time to run the tournaments, more time for the players to play each other because fellas got a five touch you now to win when you get debuffed with certain characters. It's just, it's too much, man. And do we really want to see there, sit there and see debuff after debuff after debuff after debuff to make games even longer? This game is already taking mad long on its own. Now it takes even longer because of this character. That was from Bum's point of view. I thought it was a point of view that I didn't even really think of, but he's definitely right. And she makes the game longer and that's not good for, for a game that already takes very, very long. Another reason she should be banned is to show Arxis or whoever's patching the game, send them a message. They don't listen to us ever. Ever. I do you guys remember my other video where I made five things that could make DBZ such a great a better game? I made an entire video. You know, a lot of people on Twitter have have said their gripes. Multiple top players have have all said like, yo, this game is bullshit now, it's boring, it's getting boring. I have no motivation. So it sends at least Bandai a message that yo, come on man, like at least listen to us. Like realistically. Like, we're the ones putting so much effort into this game, you know, whether it be me streaming it, all the players going out to, to compete in it, bum streaming it. We help this game grow, and they don't listen to anything we say, man. Like, before 21's release, we were all like, brother, please, like, why is there full screen normals that are medium starters? Like, the party game thing is a thing for a reason man like we we've been saying that trolling before but now we really mean it man like what is this why is this in the game why is this move go almost full screen into 90 damage 90 percent damage like why the game some of these design choices are just so bad it's just so it's just such like they don't listen to us at all man like nothing we want to be changed nothing they didn't hear anything so I think that's another good reason to ban her is to send them a message to show them like, yo, bro, I've been playing this game for four years, man. And like their decisions have always been questionable, but like this one specifically is literally taking the fun out of the game. You know, debuffing characters is just like, why did they think this was a good idea? Did they want us to hate the game? And I know this sounds, maybe it sounds a little entitled or whatever. You know, don't get me wrong, I'm forever grateful for this game. It changed my life forever. But I put in effort, man. Like, I'm the one putting in so much time to it. I, is it bad for me to want to wish the game was good? The only other issue I have, where do we draw the line? Because if we do decide to ban her, some people are going to be upset. Not all, not everybody's going to be hyped like, like most of us. But realistically where do we draw the line when i talked to a couple players some of them were saying banning 21 ban vegeto this character is stupid look at this the best assist in the game some of the best neutral buttons in the game amazing damage some characters are almost just as broken as her if she didn't have a debuff vegeto would be top one a hundred percent i think that Majin 21 has the edge over him just a little bit because she's overall a better character, but this assist call, oh man. His assist, his damage, his level three, his level four mix, if you want to call it that. His neutral, the EX, the full screen buttons, 5M. People are going to complain about this. Where do we draw the lines? If Vegito gets banned over 21, that would just be nonsense. But if they decide to ban both of them, this game would be way better, to be honest with you. <laughs> it, would, it really would. But I, at the same time, I don't want to ban Vegito either. Cause it's like, what's next? We're just gonna be like, let's just ban everybody then. Ban all the top tiers, you know? So we can't really cross that line. We have to really think about it. If it's really worth banning. That's the only other negative I can think of. But for the most part, get rid of this girl, bro. Bum said earlier on his one of his streams, you guys are gonna have to tell, talk to the uh, tournament organizers. If y'all really want to get rid of this character, we have to make the change now. Evo is around the corner. If she's not banned for Evo, we're never banning her. Why would we 
ban her for certain events and not the biggest one, you know? Maybe, you know, we, we have done this before, we've tried this before. Well, not tried, but we've talked about it before with GT Goku at, at that point. At that point, I didn't think he was worth banning because the game was still getting patched and all that. But that's another thing too. We don't know if we're getting another patch. So if we're not getting another patch, I think it's safe. It's, it's just safer to get rid of her, bro. If we knew, if we had some communication with the, with, the team, maybe we wouldn't all feel this way. Maybe the morale wouldn't be so low. What's the future of this game? Hiroki only really said, uh, what, what were her exact words? I don't remember, but she said, yeah, they'll come wait for the future. But that's it, bro. Like, how do we really know there's a future? We don't know. I mean, there's probably gonna be events, sure. The morale and some of our opinions would change if we knew something new was coming. Was, is there gonna be a patch? Is there gonna be more characters? or something, is DBFZ2 coming, something. We need something, or in my opinion, I think we gotta get rid of it. But, you know, let me know in the comments. These are my reasons. I know it's a little sloppy, but uh, you know, I don't really do videos like this too often where I just ramble. But let me know what you guys think. Should she be banned? Yes, no. Leave a comment down below. Like this video if you guys wanna see more of this type of commentary on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time for some more uh, DBC. Peace out, fellas.